In previous videos, I showed the um, use of two minimum release rules, and you saw that ResSim actually uses the highest minimum release. Um, and also I showed um, in another video about using two maximum uh, release rules, and ResSim actually used the lowest maximum release. And the priority of those rules didn't matter, but uh, it does come into play when you have the mixing of minimum and maximum release rules. So we're going to take a look at our model and we're going to, now we already have some rules developed so let's just go ahead and use the existing rules. So we can use a um, minimum of 150 and also um, we can use maximum of 100. Now we have minimum of 150 at the top, which it means that it's going to be the higher priority rule and max 100 beneath that. So based on uh, this order, it will actually put out the 150 uh, CFS release rule. Now it's not completely ignoring the maximum of 100 because remember it wants to get rid of as much as possible when it's in the flood control zone. So if we just had minimum of 150 it would actually release everything up to the physical capacity. But in this case um, it looks at both of the rules. They are in opposition to one another. So then it looks at the priority to figure out which one is actually going to govern in this case. And since minimum of 150 is a higher priority it should be releasing 150. So we'll go ahead and apply this. We'll check the alternative. If you, re, if you saw, I did put those rules in the flood zone. So we want to make sure that we're actually starting this sample run in the flood zone. Remember, top of conservation is at 75 feet. And we're starting the model uh, two feet above top of conservation. So we are starting it in the flood zone at 77 feet. So we'll go ahead and compute this. And we'll take a look at the results and you can see that the that the release here is 150 CFS so that means that it is using the the minimum uh, release rule again it still tries to honor the maximum um, so it doesn't let out any more than 150 but it will uh, let out more than the maximum release rule because the minimum release rule is a higher priority now if we switch those, so in this case we're going to decrease the priority and we're going to have a max of 100 at the top and then min 150 beneath that. In this case, since the maximum of 100 is a higher priority, it should only release 100. So let's apply that and recompute it. And if we we take a look at the results we can see that it is releasing only 100 because the maximum 100 CFS release rule is a higher priority than the minimum uh, so that's um, uh, a very simple explanation of how ResSim will handle rules that are in opposition to one another um, I'll be putting more examples of, of rule priority um, in future videos. Feel free to subscribe to, to the channel if you want to get updates on when I post a new video. And, and thanks for watching this one.